That's insane. See, because the line that I looked at was this one. I saw check here, check. Oh, I'm I'm just bad at chess. I can just oh oh I can just block and win. I deflect the check and create my own fossil and I capture. Oh, I'm so bad at chess. Okay, takes interesting. Um, I'm just gonna take and go b3 and queen b2 maybe. He'll go bishop f5. I'll go here and bishop e3. I'm playing this kind of weird. This is actually very weird. I'm not even really sure what I'm doing this game, but it's just chess. You don't want all of Siberia rising up against you, true. Probably he goes queen f6. This is actually very dry. I don't know why I played this. Although I do get c6 here, maybe. Do I want to go c6 or not is a question. I think I do. It's probably dubious. But if I get 95, 97, it kind of gets very weird. It gets very weird. I, I don't actually know what's going on here. There's 96, which I think is a mistake. Or maybe a mistake is too strong a word. But I thought that was maybe a little bit dubious. Let's go back maybe at 93. Seriously, chess is more drama than other esports. I think I play a4 to stop knight b5 mainly. Okay, he goes f6. I'm going to go here, I guess. Really? Very interesting choice by Daniel to trade. I mean, I feel like this should be slightly dubious somehow. But I guess I have no way to I have no way to target his um target his uh his pawn on d5, so it's maybe just completely fine for black. It feels dubious because I have the two bishops mainly. And I have bishop e5 here. Maybe I take and go f4. It feels a little bit dubious, but it's probably okay for black is my my first instinct. First reaction. So of course I go here. Oh, rook e6 was a very good move by Daniel. Because now, yeah, now I have nothing. That was just stupid by me. That was actually very stupid. Because now he just goes rook e8, and I, I literally... Oh, maybe I can play here and, like... I'm going to try this, at least. Probably is bunk. Well, let's try it. Bishop f6. I think I'm going to try rookie 2 maybe. Or no, I can't. Maybe I just go king f2. Oh, now I just blundered. Yeah, I just blundered for no reason. Very careless. Yeah, this was a very bad blunder. Let's go here. Although maybe I have rook d2 and it's not so bad. Kind of weirdly again. There's nothing what? Oh, oh thank you for the turret first and for the 4 f, f cobra for the 3 and gray knight for the 2. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm probably fine here. I probably am just drawing this with correct play. I should have gone bishop f1, actually. Was... Does that do? Oh, he's got knight f5. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice, nice touch. So I'll go here. Just take. Should be a draw with correct play. Again, I'm, I'm going to lose rating points, unfortunately, for this. I also gave him queen f6, which I shouldn't have given him. Although I have rookie 8, maybe? Do I have rookie 8 and some kind of weird trickiness? Probably not. Probably I just take and how do I draw this exactly? It's so actually this maybe not even a draw. I played that I played this that badly. Let's just go for it. I'm trying to go for some kind of check, but I'm sure I'm sure this is no good because even as well, Queen C5. I ch Let's go. Do I go Rook E6 or Rook E8? Six. And I have rook a6 or rook c6 here. This should be a draw with correct play again. Let's go here. Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought he would do the other one. Whoops. Oh, it's just a slip. 
but he just blunders d3. Uh, Rook d5 is winning. <laughs> Dan just... <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to be nice here, and I'm not going to flag him. I'm going to be nice. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be nice. I'm not going to flag him. I, pro I probably could have tried to flag him, but I'm not going to try. I'm not going to try. I, I'm pretty sure with 10 seconds, I, I could have at least come very close, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to try. Because it would have been we trade off. He ends up with a rook and pawn against rook, and it's just just like boring. Let's go e5. I'm I'm not in the mood right now. Actually, I kind of I don't know. Coming off title Tuesday, it's like I don't know. I'm I'm just kind of not in the mood somehow. Can I take maybe? I'm just gonna go here and take 95. Actually, I feel like Danny and I we've already played this stupid line like a million times. I don't know why I'm doing this again. Come on, it's Daniel, so I should do it. Yeah, but I, I don't know. Title Tuesday, after coming off such a refined event, it just feels kind of wrong somehow. I'm going to play... B5 is... I don't know if B5 is right, but I'm going to do it. Thank you, Derek Gaddis, for the uh, five gifted subs. Thank you, Magic Spike, for the two Nebula and Carp Shoot. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I don't even know if B5 is right, but I'm going to play it. I feel like I can run the king over. I mean, he's looking at some kind of sack. Let's go here. I mean, takes an ID4 is an idea. I feel like the bishop is further away, so he never has any reroutes. It's stuck on one diagonal, so it's tunneling here, which is why I wanted to kick it back first before it has scope. Okay, bishop c5, logical move. I can go king f7, g7, maybe. I can also play a5, b... Wait, a5? Okay, let's go a5 here. Let's see. Is he going to play a3 or a4 is the first question. He goes a3. I kind of expected that. Okay, and then I'm just going to run my king out to g7. And now I'll probably play rookie eight idea to trade on c3 at some point. Um, oh, I thought I had, I thought I had knight g4, but I, I well I do, doesn't actually do anything much. So it's kind of careless of me to play this. I thought I had knight g4. I guess I do. I can take and go knight e5. Not thrilling at any rate. Might play a4. Oh, is that okay? So I take, I go here. Takes, I go here. I also have B4 maybe as well. Do I want to go B4? I'm going to try it. I don't know if it's right. Oh, that's actually a terrible one. He's just got Knight A4. Okay, let's try to make the draw then. If I go... Oh, Knight C4 doesn't even work. Yeah, what am I doing? Just playing bad chess. Because take. Can play a4. I think I will. Should be a draw if I play this correctly. Not playing great right now, though. He goes rook b1. I saw that coming, but I thought I had knight c4. He, he wants some... I mean, the idea is that I hit the pawn. He just blundered. Now it's just a draw. He can try to play on, I guess, but it should just be a draw. Yeah, it's just... Okay, let's think. I'm going to do the same thing. I thought I got an okay position. Oh, he's going to play d5. Okay, let's play c3. This was some... Uh, somebody played this. I, I forget, was it Nepo? Or, or someone played this recently. I don't really play this line, but someone played it, so I'm going to try it. I can go f4. I can also go just go e4, maybe. Let's go rookie one. I can play knight f3. I think even bishop f1 is fine here. Okay, I think a4 makes sense. Try to target the structure. Now knight f3, reroute the knight. Knight d7, logical move from Danya. Uh, let's go here to hit the pawn. He goes rookie eight. He wants knight b6, I guess, if I had to make an assumption here. Let's just move the knight, maybe. Although, why did I do this? Now I just gave him e5, even. Yeah, I'm not playing good chess. I, I kind of need to refocus a little bit. Not playing very well at the moment. 
a little bit too light, a little, little bit too chill at the moment after that, after that title Tuesday when I had the miracle. Let's go here. A little bit too chill. I'm, I'm way too relaxed after, after the title Tuesday. Now I'm just like in cool down and I'm just like, no, I'm, I, I, I'm not feeling the edge at all. Okay, he goes to E4, which I think actually makes me happy. Because I think I kind of wanted something like this, where at least it gets sharp. Let's go F3 and take. I have 95, he goes back. When you play against Dan, you always claim to not play seriously. That's actually not true at all. Quite the contrary. I just, I can feel it within myself right now that I'm just like, after, after that weird comeback in title twos, I'm just like very like relaxed. It has nothing to do with like not taking Danny seriously. I can just feel like in my moves when I play them, like I'm missing all his ideas right now. I don't even know if B3 is good. Okay. go C5. That's like, I can feel like Daniel's much more, he's much more intense about this than I am right now. Although he, he did just blunder upon, which I guess is good. Although it's still very messy, not really clear at all what's going on. He did blunder upon though. Takes that way, really interesting. I thought that now though I should be doing well. Oh, he's got 90. See, this is what I mean by not not focus. Is that I didn't even see 94 as a move. I just didn't even see it. Like literally did not see that move. And now like now I have to do something to just stabilize like this and this. Yeah. So when you, when you guys think that I'm just saying it just because it's like, it's not even a, it's not like an excuse. It's that like when I see, when I'm missing all their ideas and then he plays an instance, like, oh, well yeah, 94, obvious move. Like very obvious. Um, yeah, I have to take this one. I'm lucky actually that I have this. Very lucky that I have this or else I would have been losing. 94 was pretty obvious. I mean, that's just a routine tactical move because black is down a pawn. So it's a very routine tactical move that I should have just seen on the spot. Okay, takes, I mean, I can play Bishop D4, but I think I want to play an end game here. Cause so I, I mean, I feel like the end game should be okay. Takes that way, interesting. Okay, let's, uh, he's got some trick with Bishop F1. Maybe I just, I don't really want to play this, but I might just have to make a draw again. Like just what it is. Oh, I'm going to get the double. Oh, he actually, he chooses not to very peculiar choice. I gotta go, let's go here. That's actually very, oh, he's got rook c8, of course. Again, another perfect example where I literally did not see rook c8. Wow, bizarre. Okay. The good news is even though, even though I've missed a lot of stuff already, I'm probably somehow still in this game. Still very much in this game. Let's go here. Let's bring the king in, I guess. I feel like I'm close to blundering again, though. I feel like I'm on the edge of making a mistake. Maybe I have rook a3, though, and it's still just fine. Let's just go here. I could have gone rook f3. Why am I missing every tactic under the sun today? Jeez. And now I just gave knight f2, even. I'm, like, literally missing every tactic under the sun. It's unbelievable. He okay, goes g4. I guess I just wait. I mean, I, mean I, I I have nothing great here. Maybe I nah. Running the king is too dubious. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just not. I'm just not feeling it. Not feeling it at all. Missing a lot of obvious tactics. Oh, well, let's play this one again. Let's go here and here. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, I'm not feeling it. I, I totally am not feeling it right now. Okay, so let's go. Um, maybe this will this will wake me up. Bishop C2, D6 is correct, of course. Takes. Pretty standard. I'll take a nap. <laughs> okay, 97, of course. Take a nap, yes, take a nap. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have dementia. He, have you seen his chest? Oh, are people saying I have dementia? That's not funny. Um, let's just castle here. Not funny, dude, not funny. Not funny at all. 
Uh, now, I know d5 is obviously a stable move here. It's like d5, e5 takes, and like queen d7, as I recall. There's also knight f5 here, but I think takes is supposed to be fine. Like takes and f6. Force f4, you go here and queen h3. At least this game, I know this is some kind of theory. So at least I, at least I get to just make moves without having to think here. I thought you had 177,000 viewers. <laughs> that, that'll be the day, my man. That'll be the day. I think I'm going to actually sack some material here soon. I mean, I have, I, I want to sack, but it doesn't, it just doesn't work. Of course. So I'm just like insane today. Why did I even do that? That was so bizarre. Let's go here. Rook d8 was such a ridiculous move. I should have just gone king h8 right away, and then I wasted one move, and it's probably going to cost me the game, undoubtedly. It was rook c5, which I guess makes sense. Again, I kind of... No, I can't sack. I can go g5 here, then queen h5. What about knight f5? Knight f5 is a move that makes some sense. Fe5... I mean, I really feel like there's got to be some way to open this up here. Let's go here. Trying to open up this king king side here a little bit if I can. Now I think I have knight. Don't I have knight f5 and knight h4 or something? Let's go for it. Because I have knight h4 and checkmate. It's like it's kind of like the lolly checkmate, but not quite. He has to go king h1, I guess. I mean, I feel like I should be better here somehow. I don't see the win right off, but it, I feel. In my bones, I feel, and if he takes, he just gets sauced on the G file. He has to go King H1, only move. But I'm trying to see if I can find the win here. But King H1, I can even just take act. Oh yeah, this is just terrible then. Yeah, I just take and go Knight F3. It's game over. He might even just resign here because I think it's really, really bad. Okay, let's go King H1. I thought I could take. Let's just go for it. I think it's uh, SP Streeter for the uh, for the uh, two months. I need to bass him as well. I have Knight F3. Wait, Knight F3 and Knight H4 is just GG, I think. I think I'm just going to... Uh, I have D4. Go d4 first. Just take. Okay, I can even just go rook c8 to force a trade. And again, these knights are just boxing the rook. Yeah. That was good. That was good. Um, Let's play the same thing. I thought I got a good position. I thought I had a good position last game. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna do it again. I thought I had a good position. Let's try it. It's no good, it's no good. Okay, let's go back. Let's put the knight on F3. Just be very classical here. So he's trying to go knight E5. He's trying to go for E5 again. I think I just go here and queen D2. Maybe I go rookie three and rookie one. Because knight f6 back. Okay, let's just go here. Maybe I had knight e5 also. I do have b3 here, which looks pretty enticing because of c4 ideas. Here goes h6. Which square? My instinct says f4. In the back of my mind, I want to go to d2, but I think f4 has got to be right. It was knight d7. I do have c4 here, maybe, but I also have just rook a d1. Okay, goes g5. Strange move. Does he really think he can play e5 is a question? I think he does think he can. I don't think he can, though, because I take and I have c4 at the end, I think. 
He's definitely going to... I mean, he's probably going to play e5 no matter what. Because otherwise, he's just much worse here. G5 is very compromised. Takes, takes, takes. Knight e5, rookie... Yeah, I, I don't think it works, but I think... It, okay, it doesn't do it. So that means it doesn't work. Now, I can play h4. I can also go c4. This feels very bad for black. Let's just go c4. Takes. Okay, let's take. I mean, this should just be terrible for black if I play this correctly, but I haven't been playing great. So let's see. What do I want to do? He wants e6, obviously. I can play h. I'm going to go h4. I don't know if it's right, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to take. This probably also is not right, but I'm going to try to do something here where I play on the king side and not just the queen side. I need Ozzy Demon for the five months. Okay, let's just go. I guess let's just go here in Rook G1. I also had Rook E5, which was much better. But I'm looking to sack here. I, I have Rook E5 now. I mean, I feel like I'm trying to play this like Daniel would play it. I mean, I, Rook G1 looks logical. I feel like I should have something. Okay, let's go. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, let's just go. Let's go here. Really don't know what I'm doing in this game. I might just go C5 and Gambit material here pretty soon. I'm gonna try Rook G2. I don't know if it works. I don't see a win for black here. Like, knight h5, I can drop back. That's why I put the rook here, not g3, because knight h5 would have been a fork. Here, it just touches the bishop, and I can tuck it back on e3, which is why I put the rook on g2, not g3. So it's, an em it's empty right now. Okay, so he, he goes all in for it here. I mean... This is obviously a, a move. I, w I mean, I assumed I had some way to win here, but but we're just gonna play Daniel style at this point. If it if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But he's got to prove it. Okay, goes Queen B two. Let's go here. He's just got to prove it. If he, if he's winning, he's winning. That's life. Let's go here. He's just got Rook D four, which I forgot. Wait, can I take and take? No. Oh, I thought I had a win there. Wait, do I have bishop e4? Wait, bishop e4? Wait a second. Bishop e4? Let's go for it. I mean, I, so there must be a checkmate in here. If there isn't a mate, there isn't a mate, but I've got to go for it. Can't I just take? Wait, I can take the... Queen h7? No, wait, rook g7? Queen e4 takes. Rook g7, rook g7, queen c8. It's mate, I believe. So it's just check and it's mate. He gets the diagonals rule the day. They need a legenda for the tier one. They use legenda. Appreciate it. Yeah, I go check and that's just mate. He just can't move the king. Yeah. Can I say lobster pincer? It's not lobster pincer. Lolly is what the checkmate is called. It's called the John Batista Lolly checkmate. Plays G3. Okay, he's gonna play this one. Um, okay, let's go here in D6, I guess. Or are you trolling me? Are you are you trolling me there with your, what you're saying? You might be. Maybe you're just trolling me. I don't know. Okay, let's go here. Lobster pincer. Is that where is that where XQC came up with it from? Did he come up with that because he knew the actual terminology? Wait, okay, I, I need to focus on chess before I lose my mind out of confusion. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing in this game exactly. Okay, I'm just gonna move my king. I'm confused now. Now I'm confused. I mean, it is something. It is legitimately something, yes. Let's go here on Queen G5, I guess. 
Don't know if it's good or not, but it seems reasonable at least. Yeah, he goes back. Guess I go here. Let's go 97. Maybe queen d7 is an idea as well. I can always play king g7. I mean, I think I'm just going to go knight g and be very defensive here. Just play like... Oh, knight g6 is a threat. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Okay, let's just go back. He goes d4 logical. I'm just going to go here. Hopefully I'm not blundering something epic. Which is very possible, actually. Okay, he, he wants to go bishop g4. I thought I could put my knight here, maybe. Just to stop this idea completely. Okay, I'm just going to go c6, I guess. My knights are actually holding each other very nicely here. And if he ever goes bishop f3, I get knight g5. Maybe I go b5 even with bishop c4 at some point. Okay, he goes rook d1. I'll go queen e7. Go so here, maybe? He goes b3. I feel like I'm actually starting to get a pretty decent position. I'm just going to drop the bishop back. Goes a4. Let's go rook a8. It's actually getting very dicey for white. I, I don't I don't know. Knight g5 is coming at some point. I always have c5. I have b4 as well. Now, b4 looks fine because I just take. Do I take with a queen? I guess I take with a queen. Why not? And just rook c8. And his pawns are really bad here um, on e4 and e3. I could queen c6 too, maybe. Let's go here. Probably. Whoa, what is king g3? Wow, that's a bold move by Dania. Let's go here, knight c5. It's a very bold move by Dania. Let's go. Okay, let's go here. It's just here. I just want to go knight g5 and knight f6 basically and just toast him. Let's just go. Let's go here. Let's go here. I feel like I should have something that's winning here. Let's go here. I want to go rook c3. There, I I mean, I think this position is kind of collapsing here. He goes king h2. No, king h2 is actually a very good move that I missed. Come with moves here. Okay, let's go here. Knight c5, I guess. You can take this one also. Queen d5, rook c7. Okay, let's go here. Let's do the tickle. Let's do the tickle. So I have check. Or do I? No, I do. Oh my gosh, I just literally throw? Literally just threw for no reason. <sighs> so bad. How do I do this? Can I try to flag him? I don't really want to flag him. Does that work? Okay. Does that work? Wait, what am I doing? There we go. There we go. Good win. Good win. Um, let's do the same thing. 
I had that game won, and then I really made a hash out of it. Don't want a flag. I should have won that game in regulation. But that got really messy. Okay, let's do the same thing. It takes this way again. I'll take with a pawn. I think I can play knight d2 maybe and see. Oh, he's got bishop g4. I guess I I have h3 here, but I think bishop b2. Or do I even go a? No, let's just play traditional a4, a5 here, I guess. Okay, is knight c4 a threat? I just take. I mean, it's a move, but is it actually good? Because I can just draw it back. He'll probably do it anyway. No, he doesn't. Wow. Okay, I guess I'll go h3, kick the bishop back. Um, oh, he's got knight 94 now. Oh, very poor. Very, very poor by me. Doesn't take advantage. Okay, let's go. Knight f3, take 6, 95. Queen f 5s a move. I'm gonna go g4. It's probably not right. It, actually, it looks very wrong. <laughs> Still doesn't take advantage. Okay, let's go queen here. Yeah, this is actually just really bad because he's probably got some sack here and I'm just losing. Pretty confident there's some sack here, but we'll see. He's definitely going to sack and then the question is where the win is after that. Yeah, he takes. I'll take, and I'm, I'm sure I'm lo I'm losing here, but I mean, at least he might have to prove it. King h1, king g7, knight e2, h8, bishop h3. Let's go for it. So I mean, I have knight e2. That's my that's my one hope. I don't know if it works or not, but it's my only it's my only hope. So he's gonna go king g7, knight e2, rook h8, bishop h3. Takes king g2, and then. Maybe somehow I'm surviving? Surely I'm not, but we'll see. Thank you to Bar of Soap for the six months. Thank you, Bar of Soap. Appreciate it. Okay, block. I'll pre move because it's a safe pre move. Funny thing is, the more I look at this, the more unconvinced I become that he actually is not in trouble here. I mean, again, maybe trade. Go king g8. Yeah, he goes king g8, and I go like... Oh, he goes d4. So it's actually... Oh, he's got, he's got queen g7. Queen c7, which I didn't see. Okay, I missed queen c7, yes. And then... So that means I should be losing then, right? Knight d4, bishop d5. Wait, no takes? D5 takes check, and I have no block, right? King F2. I don't see it, so I'm going to go for it. I, I, don't, I actually don't see it. I don't actually see it. So, I mean, if he has a win, he has a win, and that's all there is to it. But I don't see it right off, so I'm going to play it. I'm threatening check and mate, basically, is the idea. So I go here. He blundered. That was a big mistake. He had to, he had to, he had to sack and then check and check and check. And I'm going to look at this with, afterwards with the computer. What do you play? Played F6. He moved. Okay. That had to be a mistake. But maybe it's... Okay, I go here. I think I'm just winning. Amazing. I think I'm just winning now. This is insane. All right, should be winning. Queen h5. That's also not the best move, I don't think. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's 
a check. First of all, actually, I can just run my king up. I just take. Wait, so. Too many pieces. Yeah, I want to look at this game. Let me take a look at this game. Was there something there they missed? It's minus, um, it says minus 2.99. Okay, so I go here. Takes, takes. Oh, wow. So D4 actually is a blunder. After D4, he's lost. Wow. D4. Wow, that's amazing. So D4 is just a blunder. It's just lost. Wow. Really? That's insane. See, because the line that I looked at was this one. I saw check here, check. Oh, I'm, I'm just bad at chess. I can just, oh, oh, I can just block and win. I deflect the check and create my own fossil and I capture. Oh, I'm so bad at chess. Cause the, cause the line that I saw was this one, but I don't know if this is actually bad for white. Cause after King F2, the thing is I still have deflections for the check. So like if he checks me, I just deflect and I win the game. And if he checks me, I go here, check and I run this way, my king is safe. But queen h2 here, check. I deflect into my own check and then he goes here. And then I guess here in the game, I mean the game goes on, but it's wild. But that's actually pretty insane. That after check, I can just play the in-between deflection check. And then after after he like blocks, I take, check, and now after king g3, my king is just as snug as a bug in a rug, like queen c7, king f2. And I'm very, very safe here. Wow, that's bizarre. How bizarre, how bizarre, how bizarre indeed.